Okay, we, we can talk about like, uh, like the Annie Lesbian affair she's had, and we can talk about the drugs. And, and if you are not partying. kind to this lady, you will be on my hit list for the rest of your life, and that's I a am bad, on your hit list already, that's a bad so place to be. That's a very good really. See, this is like a lot really of yeah, and, uh, that's, You do not want to be on Catholic. Get back to your back, Keller. Get back. <laughs> See you later. How are you, gorgeous? Uh, no, I only just heard about this during the week, stupidly, and I should have heard about it uh, before now. But you're doing the Helen Back, which is uh, yeah. quite quite a challenge. But this already kind of started in a way last year. You're saying that you you, you yes. got a little sick and, and good old Grace Ones cancer support were, were a it, huge yeah. support. So last April I was diagnosed with lymphoma, ah. and then uh, straight away then Grace Ones cancer support kicked in and got in touch with me over email and over the phone just to see what I needed from them, what I wanted from them. And they're still like, I'm six months into remission today and they're right. just over six months and they're still in touch with me, as you can see. Yeah. Uh, see what we can, what they can do to help me and they're still offering their services and they still, they will then for forever more, basically. <laughs> um, right. So I just wanted to do something to kind of give back and say thanks to them. So that's where Nika Fit came in. So this yeah. is the gym that I've been in for this the last forever like we were, even before they they formed you were you were already kind of going to, to katie and, and cool and yeah so you had a history already before they even formed the gym in exactly. December 2016 i think you joined up and yeah, yeah so i was with katie for about two years on my own um one to one there uh, before the gym uh, opened up and then when herself and niall then opened up the gym then i obviously then made the transition and joined in there so while I was sick, they were great. They um, kept up the yoga and everything. Um, mm. So I went up and I did that. So it was just something to get me out of the house every right. every weekend, just to kind of keep my activity levels at least up a little bit. Um, but now, yeah, so they said that they'd support me in raising the money. Um, we were all doing hell and back anyway. So right. they then put um, their support behind uh, me raising the money for Grey Sounds Cancer Support. Nice. Um, their followers, they have, thousands yeah. and thousands and thousands of followers so like the video that we made got over got just about 60k uh, 60,000 views so right. yeah so getting that kind of <laughs> visibility yeah. out there like I wouldn't be able to do that without them so uh, yeah so it's up on the GoFundMe page we've raised over 5,000 euros on the GoFundMe Fantastic. page and um, then we have got some other donations from the ICA in Delgany uh, the Delgany Guild they gave yeah. uh, donated a check of 500 euros then one of the girls that's in the in Nika Fit with me as well, her company has donated 100 euros. Oh, so great. people are kind of getting nice on the bandwagon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have the link above this for people to join in. And, and uh, I know that, that for many people, these moments, we're all sort of aware all the way through life, the fact that you know you can get curveballs in, in life. You know, we all get a flat tire occasionally in life and we have to go and fix it. And I, mean, I don't know for you whether it was... Uh, you know, you, you seem like a very content, sort of centered person. I, I don't know if that was always the way, or whether this this brought on a, a newfound love of life. Or yeah, I, I think to a certain extent, like I've always been quite a happy person that just kind of goes about life just. Well, that's the drugs. Uh, yeah, and the uh, absolutely. And that, that will, I find a lot of women love that. They really get very happy after that. Oh God! <laughs> Apart from all that, though, I'm quite right. I'm quite content. But right. this has definitely kind of given me a more. I suppose centered look on what's important right. it's uh, what you need to focus on in life what is and isn't the most be all and end all of anything like whether it's work whether it's yeah. the problems like yeah I have a flat tire it's not the end of the world sure. or you know yourself it's just it gives you a more kind of look on okay well let's value what we have and let's value what's important and not don't sweat the small stuff basically right and i think it's uh what is it don't um the old line is um don't sweat the well, let me think now there is a great line i'll have to think of that i'll put it above when i think of it properly um don't sweat the ah damn it i can't think of it i'll have to think of that okay so we was we was, we will have to um say to people that if they've got the option to uh to to obviously donate a, a, a above um nick nick of it they've been kind of crucial to to i don't know whether you'd feel right from the start i can do this or i mean is a part of their kind of uh, help that sort of got you convinced or absolutely like we did um we decided last year um to do helen back with nika fit the the group but obviously i couldn't do it i had to drop out but because of that then it was with them and myself going okay well this year this is kind of my goal this is my target and as soon as i said it to them they were like absolutely we're going to get everybody on board we're going to get there's six about 60 people going to do it with the nika fit group right. so with all them we're all training in the gym together and um, they're they're tailoring the training plans to suit what helen back is going to need them 
kind of encouraging me just to you know you can do this this is not like this is not going to define you you're going to be back to exactly where you were pre-april last year so nice. their encouragement as well and then katie and i like i would i would be very close to them so it's the personal text messages or the messages or any help that i need i can know i can go and contact them directly that it doesn't have to be it's not just a gym relationship it's actually a friendship that's there so that in itself just is is amazing and then just the fact that there's 60 people doing it it's just going to give you the nice. bit of an oom to actually finish it and <laughs> now my brain has managed to catch up with my my thoughts and, and the old saying is that don't sweat the petty things and don't pet the sweaty things i think that's what you do in life <laughs> that's, that's it <laughs> <laughs> rock and roll uh. <laughs>